All right, what's going on, dudes? Got a channel update here. I uh, got a new gun safe. I recently moved into a new house. All right, so uh, this is my new safe. My dad and I shared a safe previously, but now that um, I moved out, here is my new safe. It's a Winchester. It's uh, supposedly an 18 gun safe. They're referring to long guns when they say that. <clears throat> uh, here it is. And I've done a little modification to the inside of the door here. I actually got this idea from uh, Pete at the Armory channel. He made a video years and years and years ago that I saw and where he made these pegs. You can see these pegs holding the guns. Uh, I have eight of them on this wall. I have room for maybe uh, three or four more. Well, when I got this safe, and I saw the inside of this door here, uh, that video popped into my mind, so I went over and watched it again, and I basically duplicated what he did. Uh, this peg here is a, a bolt with a little faucet washer, a piece of water line, and a big washer is on the back of this firewall here with a nut. Okay, and that's what gives it all, that's what gives it all the strength is that big washer, and that is very sturdy. Uh, in Pete's video, like I said, this is a very old video, so you might have trouble finding it. But um, <laughs> he made a comment that you can swing your grandma off of there, and he is not exaggerating. That is a very sturdy peg, and it's all plastic and rubber. The only thing that's metal is this uh, face here, but your gun doesn't touch that. You can see when you put it on. Just, just like that. And you want to make sure you space your guns out. I, I could have done a better job if I would have uh, taken more time. Uh, you can see, I mean, they're not really bumping into each other at all. But I could have laid these out in a more neatly of a manner. I kind of wish I would have done that. But it's, it's fine the way it is. Uh, you can see I got my Colt Stainless Series 70 back. Uh, this is the... Yeah, it's not really focusing too well, but it has a hundred years roll mark on it for the anniversary in 2011. Got that back. Uh, you, I don't know if you guys remember, but I ended up giving it to a family member because I wanted a different gun. But I ended up getting it back. So these are all the handguns I own on the wall. And then of course I have <clears throat> in here my Colt World War One reproduction 1911 and my Colt Series 70 that's blued. Yeah, that's the 1911A1. I got those in there. This is just wax paper. I don't have a place to put it right now, so I just threw it in there. Got some AK-74 magazines, um, AR-15 magazines, some ammo. These are the magazines I can still carry with for different guns. SIG, HK, uh, 1911, and my Ruger, LC9. These are all the long guns I have. Lighting kind of sucks here. Let me see if I can turn a light on for you guys. I don't know if that's going to help. Probably not. Uh, I'm not going to take these all out, but in here I have my uh, hunting rifle, my 8mm K98K that was sporterized. I don't think I've made a video with that yet. I have my. There's actually a couple guns I've gotten that I haven't reviewed yet. I haven't been making videos recently because of uh, I've been pretty busy. I got a Ruger American rifle way back here in 308 bolt action with a scope on it. I'll have to do a review on that. I got uh, my AR-15 SP1, AR-15 A4 made by Colt, uh, Springfield M1 Grand. Uh, what else is back there? Here, here's my Colt 6920. Uh, Remington 870, my Sega AK-74. The lighting in here is terrible. It's pretty dark, but just want to give you a little overview of the safe here. I have my Arsenal Krinkov SGL, uh, or I'm sorry, SLR 104UR. Uh, here's the piston Bushmaster AR-15 that I built. Uh, here's a Colt 6720 lightweight that I uh, just got. I'm going to have to review that. All right. And I'm going to be building a an AR-15 pistol. Okay, when the when all the parts come in, I'll be uh 
doing a little series on that. But yeah, here's my safe. Pretty cool. I have a, a PASGT helmet on top of it. I think it looks pretty cool. Alright, I repainted that a German uh, color that they used on their helmets in World War II. I just sprayed it this color. I thought it looked pretty cool. Here's my gun desk, or my just computer desk, where I do my reviews. Little, you know, different room. It's pretty cool, though. Just, you know, random stuff. But anyway, that's my safe. Uh, these pegs worked out great, though, man. If you have a safe like this, see, the one that I used to share with my dad, uh, it was a, the safe was actually about double the size. And uh, the door had a rack to put rifles on. Okay, and then on the top here we bought a pistol rack that drilled into the top and it hung over and we hung our pistols in the rack You know what I mean? Well with this safe being as the the whole door here on the inside had nothing on it Sometimes they come with you know like pistol pouches and little Pouches you can hang stuff on this thing just literally is just firewall with like a carpet material So man, I just made these pegs Here's a Colt rail gun 1911 and uh yeah, I marked him with magic marker or sharpie marker. This is a hole that I messed up on So that's where I intended a peg to be but I ended up moving it right here Yeah, that's all it is man. Just one inch water line. Make sure you have an inch Okay, make sure it's an inch long and you can pretty much hang any gun from there you Really don't have to go over an inch Okay Colt series 80 1911 Colt combat commander Stainless, that's the XSE model. That's my new HK USP 45 compact Ruger LC9. There's the stainless. Um, <clears throat> this, haven't showed this in like two years. My uncle gave this to me for graduating high school. This is a Colt Police Positive 38 Smith & Wesson. I have no ammo for it. Okay, this is the one gun that I do not have ammo for just because. It's super expensive, and I really don't plan on shooting it, but I am going to pick up a box of ammo. I need to do that. Um, Got to get at least one box for that. All right. Uh, what else? Is that all? That's pretty much it. Uh, I still have about five more guns that I need to transfer from the safe at the other house to this safe. Um... Yeah, other than that, that's about it. So, I plan on making videos more regularly, guys. Uh, you know, more consistently. Just been a little busy and uh, had a lot of things going on. But thought you guys would uh, like to see my new safe. It's nothing special, man. It's it's only 500 bucks. It's just a Winchester. Got it at a uh, uh, Tractor Supply. Okay. Uh, digital. I kind of like the dial just because it never goes bad, but yeah, pretty cool safe. The, the door safe, or the door on my other safe that I shared with my dad was uh, was a lot better than this. Not that this is bad, but this is, uh, it looks heavy duty, but it's actually hollow in there. This is not solid steel. The safe that I was using with my dad that he still has is a solid piece of steel that's a quarter inch, and that's stronger than this. Okay, but like I said, that safe that we were you that, that I was using with my dad, uh, that was about an eleven hundred dollar safe. Initially, it was worth about two thousand, but it was, we got it back in two thousand ten. So being as it was the last year's model, we saved you know like eight hundred dollars on it. But five hundred bucks Winchester, you know, can't really beat it. Oh yeah, something else that I did that I got the idea from. Pete over at the Armory channel and like I said these videos were pretty old so I don't know if you guys will find them but uh, this initially came with one shelf okay so what I did was I got some particle board or not particle board uh, plywood and I just took the measurements from this board here and I made two more shelves okay um, made two more shelves and I can you know store more stuff obviously so uh, this shelf here has a little relief cut for long guns, my M1 Grand, and my uh, original K98K Mauser. Oh, and I never reviewed that as well. I have two K98s in here. I have one that's porterized that was in a house fire that my grandfather converted to a hunting rifle after the original stock was damaged and, you know, so on and so on. 
and then I have a another K98 in there that is in its original mi military configuration. So okay, uh, yeah, two more shelves. Just get a gray T-shirt and uh, some 3M sticky spray. Spray the board after you cut it, and just you know wrap it with this gray T-shirt. It doesn't match exactly. It's a little lighter gray, but who cares? All right, and it came with a whole bunch of these clips, right? So you can hang them wherever you want. That's what I did. I just spaced it out to where I wanted it. <clears throat> and, uh, worked out pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, this video is not too exciting, guys. It's just a little, you know, update. You know, I really don't know what to do right now. Uh, besides just doing this little video until I'm all settled in here, but. Uh, the Colt AR-15A4 back here, the lightweight carbine, uh, I put my slide fire's talk on that. I'm going to let that be the dedicated rifle that's going to have the slide fire on it. All of my AR-15s that I have, uh, the carbines that is, uh, I have updated stocks on them. And those are the stocks I like to keep on them. I don't, you know, if I use a slide fire on those rifles, I, I always end up taking the slide fire off just so I can put the other stocks on, like this mag pull here, you know. It's a $100 stock, so I'm not gonna, I'm just going to let it sit around. So I came across these Colt 6720s on Gunbroker for like 760 and the original prices were like close to 1100 so I picked it up for that, and I uh, couldn't pass that up, you know what I mean? All right, guys, there's my safe. I'm loving it. It's awesome. I'm happy with it. Couldn't be more satisfied. It's the perfect size. You know, it's going to fit every gun that I own. That's all that matters to me. And uh, just let me know what you guys think. All right. Looking forward to making more videos. Take care.